Hi everyone, I'm Juliette from Birchbox and today I'm gonna show you how to do this Korean beauty inspired makeup look. This look is really centered around having a radiant glowing complexion, defined brows, and a bright punchy lip. So let's get started. First up, I'm prepping my face with Ipkin's Flash Cream Radiant Primer. And Korean Beauty is really grounded in skincare, so oftentimes they incorporate a lot of moisturizing and brightening ingredients into the makeup products. This one contains fruit enzymes to soften the skin, and it also has pearl powder, which gives your skin that really dewy, illuminated effect. So I'm just applying this with my hands all over my face. Tony Moly has some of the cutest packaging of all K-Beauty brands, but their products are also super effective. So this is their eye base, and it comes in a really portable, convenient, creamy stick. So it moisturizes and de-puffs your under eye with a slight cooling effect, but it also brightens the under eye and sort of diffuses any dark circles. Because this does actually brighten your under eye area, you can wear this alone or even under concealer. Next up is BB Cream, also known as Beauty Bomb. And this one from Dr. Jart is one of my all-time favorite BB creams. It's really moisturizing and has amazing anti-aging benefits, but it gives your skin a really nice, smooth, and even coverage. And this is probably K-Beauty's most popular export for its combined skincare and coverage benefits. Cushion makeup is huge in South Korea, mainly because it gives your skin a really nice, light, airbrushed finish. This is a cushion blusher that comes in a really fun, soft pink shade from Too Cool for School. To use, just Squeeze until pigment appears on the cushion applicator and then stipple it onto your cheeks and you can use your fingers to blend it out. Long lasting makeup is really common in Korean beauty and the focus for the eyes is usually on eyeliner and not really about eyeshadow. This is a waterproof liner pen from Clio that seriously lasts all day. It does not budge at all and it has a really fine tip so you can tight line or get the perfect wing. For lashes, I'm gonna use this curling mascara from Peri Para, which has a very cool shaped wand that allows you to get each and every eyelash. For brows, I'm using Clio's Kill Brow Tattoo. This is a really cool product. It actually has two sides to it. One is a felt tip marker side that actually tints the skin underneath your brows, and the other is a brow mascara that you apply afterwards to comb through product. So typically to use this product, you actually use the marker tint at night after you wash your face and wake up in the morning and then use the brow mascara to brush your brows out. I've already prepped my brows with the tint and now I'm just gonna use the brow mascara over it. Bright gradient lips that almost look popsicle stained are actually really popular in Korean beauty. You can use a lip stain like this one from Peri Para to get the gradient look. All you have to do is apply the color on the middle of your lips and then use your fingers to blend out. But I'm going for a little bit more of a wearable look, so I'm gonna apply this all over my lips and then follow up with a lip balm to make sure my lips stay moisturized. And finally, I'm gonna set my makeup with this face mist. It has ingredients like Manuka honey, which is really moisturizing, and aloe, which is really soothing, and it'll give your skin that really coveted dewy glow. So that's it, that's how to do this makeup look using just some of the many amazing Korean beauty products we have in the Birchbox shop. So make sure you check it out and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. For more videos from Birchbox, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jdelphine here. See you soon.